It's Build a Big Podcast. David Hooper here. Does my voice sound weird? Well, I've had some problems with it. My tongue specifically. If you're curious about the behind the scenes of that, you can listen to my other podcast, Red Podcast. And you can get that by going to bigpodcast.com slash subscribe. See, I can't say words like that. Slash. Not working for me right now. Full scoop, bigpodcast.com slash subscribe. As you know, I am in Nashville, Nashville. <laughs> we got a local podcast that I want to use as an example. It's called Music City 911. And the premise is that there are two 911 operators. They talk about the behind the scenes of working in a 911 operations center and they review calls. And sometimes it's funny. You probably heard calls like that on the internet. As an example, they had a call from a local Nashville operator that was used on the Jay Leno show. You've heard those calls. Well worth listening to just for that. Sometimes it is edgy, raw, mysterious. The latest episode features, uh, I guess it was a guy who was meeting people on Grindr. And <laughs> it happened a few times. People found themselves locked up in his basement or something, and they were calling 911. And anyway, for the full story, check it out. Music City 911. That's the podcast to look up. I have it linked in the episode notes. It is a very human podcast. You get a sense for how the system works, and you get a sense for the people who are involved. I mean, imagine that. You find yourself drugged, maybe chained up in a basement. You escape narrowly. You're freaked out. You're carrying around a hatchet or a machete or something. Why wouldn't you press charges? Well, it's because you're human. Maybe you got some stuff you don't want everybody knowing about. Anyway, Brandon Hall is one of the hosts. He reached out to me. He said, how can we grow this thing? And I thought it would be a good example to use here. I'm going to give you a quick and dirty of a couple of things that these guys could do right now to grow their audience that you may be able to do to grow your audience. This podcast... Again, Music City 911 is what it's called. It's got two things going on for it as far as attracting listeners quickly. The first one is it is about a very specific job. You can imagine being in this type of situation where day in and day out for years, I think these guys between them, maybe 30, 35 years of 911 experience. Imagine being in a situation like that day in and day out, getting these calls, somebody's tied up in the basement or domestic violence. Who knows? I mean, some of them are funny. Not all of them are funny. A lot of them very serious. So being in a very specific job, you've got people that they might not understand what you were going through. So therefore, if I had this podcast, the first thing that I would do is reach out to other 9-11 operators. For example, look at different cities, Memphis, Atlanta, Chattanooga, Tampa, Louisville, Lexington. Pick your cities. Reach out to these guys. You're going to have an in right away because you are one of them, especially with the experience these guys have. They've been doing it for a long time. And say, hey, we have a podcast about what you were going through because they talk about what they go through. It's not just funny calls and interesting calls. It is about what they experience. Like I said, the behind the scenes of it. And these guys can connect with other 9-11 operators so much better than just about anybody else. Probably even these people, spouses, best friends, the people who've known them forever. Nobody knows what you're going through like the people who also go through that with you. So that's the first thing that I would do is go to those 9-11 centers, reach out to a few of them, find somebody there, find a connection. And these guys probably already know these people from connections they've made at conferences, just being in the business. People get transferred in, transferred out, ask people, hey, do you know anybody in Atlanta? Do you know anybody in Memphis? Do you know anybody in Tampa, Los Angeles, New York? I would reach out to them and you could do it in a questioning way. You could say, hey, have you had any interesting calls that would be good for this show? And if these people specifically don't have it, they probably know of some interesting calls. So you're going to get feedback that way. But just build a community around the job itself. And we all have that. This podcast is for podcasters, and you see me reaching out to different podcasters. Hey, man, I've got something that can help you, much like I'm doing on this episode for Brandon with Music City 911. Second thing that Brandon has going for him, he has something about a very specific place. 
when I heard about Music City 911, you know, that's not the kind of thing that I would normally listen to. I got interested in it when I found out that it was about where I live. And when you have people calling in and they are from where you live and they're talking about things that you know and places that you have been to, that suddenly gets very interesting. Sort of related, I remember cops came through Nashville a long time ago, a long time ago, back when cops could run into people's houses and they didn't have to have any kind of permission. They don't do that these days. I watched that show because I was like, man, I wonder where they're going to go. I bet they're going to go to Dickerson Road. And if you're from Nashville, you know what I'm talking about. They did go to Dickerson Road. It's a good place to hide out, get drugs, get a prostitute. And I watched it and I was like, yep, that's my city. Maybe you've had that experience if you've ever had a movie made in your hometown. It works really well for smaller places. The producer from our radio show, Gary, he was in this movie called For the Love of a Dog with Sherman Helmsley. You know him as George Jefferson. And they did this in a small town. You know that everybody in that small town watched that movie for the same reason that I was watching Cops to see Dickerson Road. It's seeing something on the big screen or on the TV or in the podcast that you are familiar with. Those are the first two things that I would do as far as outreach to get more people into your podcast. These are the best ways to get listeners in bulk. You're going to people who are doing the same job that you're doing, or if your podcast has a geographic element, such as Music City 911, calls from Music City and operators within Music City, Nashville, Tennessee. If you're familiar with Reddit, that site, there is a board for every little city in America and every big city in America. Sites like Nextdoor, Facebook. Go to those sites and say, hey, we are the people who answer the phone when you call 911. If you want to know the behind the scenes of it, learn a little bit more about what's happening in your community, go to this website, go to this podcast site. Here's how to subscribe. Walk them through the process because they may not know, but you will get listeners in bulk because of these things. In my book, I talk about a concept called dance with the one that brung you. And that is the first thing that I would do to launch any podcast. Go to where you are, go to the people that you're working with. And for these guys, again, go to 9-11 guys. And it doesn't just have to be the people taking the calls. It could be the responders, fire, paramedic, cops. Those guys are also working behind the scenes on these calls. They might be interested in it. Go to people in Nashville. This is going to be an even bigger group than you realize because you've got a lot of people who have come through your town. I'll give you an example. Blake Thompson has a podcast that is very specific to Oxford, Mississippi. Who used to live in Oxford, Mississippi? Me, David Hooper. So yeah, I'm going to check that out because I'm curious about what's going on there now. Dance with the one that brung you. That gives you a start. Then you branch out. It's almost like a speaker or a musician. You go to local venues first. You connect with the people that you know first. Then you expand your territory. If you want to check out what these guys are doing, Music City 911, that is the podcast. And if you go to bigpodcast.com, I will have links in the episode notes. If you want to make sure that you never miss an episode of this podcast, Build a Big Podcast, go to bigpodcast.com slash subscribe. You'll find three buttons there, one for Android, one for RSS, and one for iPhone. Whatever you're listening to this podcast on, click that button. I'll hook you up. And here's the reason to do that right now. I mentioned my book, Big Podcast. In the coming week, you will have an opportunity to get it free. But you got to subscribe to this podcast to find out about it. Bigpodcast.com slash subscribe. I will see you there and I will see you on the next episode of Build a Big Podcast.